back. Today is y'all lucky day. Y'all gonna get back to back YouTube videos. Now I'm back at the house and I gotta make that video that I promised. I'm gonna break it into two parts, maybe three parts. Um, so if the camera cut off on you, don't take it personal. I apologize. I had to film a video like less than two to three hours ago. Now, this video is going to be called the thank you video because a lot of y'all have been waiting for that thank you video and this can cut off at any given time. So the title of the video is called Sex Game. Thank you to all women and men. Now, I want to say thank you to the sexy, fine ass mamacita Latina women. I'm with y'all. I ain't forgot about y'all. I will be making more future YouTube videos on why I like sexy Latina women. Um, I saw one two hours ago that was in the black car staring at me because of the earlier YouTube video. I ain't forgot about your sexy fine Latina ass. I ain't forgot about you. I have multiple video projects. Um, another person I want to give a shout out to is this older black guy that I saw when I was getting on the bus walking away from the grove he nod his head so i know he saw my youtube video something like that just nod your head you know give me a thumbs up give me the peace sign something that lets me know you watched the youtube video if you hate the video then just do this thumbs down to let me know you don't like the video so i'm going to set some ground rules if anyone makes fun of anybody no shout out okay so rule number one Watch the YouTube video to get a shout out in the next video. Rule number two. Any man makes fun of any women for any particular reason, no shout out. I see you making fun of somebody that has a learning disability. You make fun of somebody in the wheelchair. You make fun of someone because they got the ass beat up and jump, no shout out. You a man and you disrespect a woman, no shout out. You a woman and you disrespect a man, no shout out. You make fun of each other, no shout out. The reason why I'm adding some ground rules is so everybody can be on the same page. This is supposed to be a fun and interaction YouTube channel. Everybody wants to have fun. Tomorrow's going to be the 4th of July. And we want to start the video off right with good intentions, not bad intentions. And I say what I mean and I mean what I say. Any man disrespects a woman. Black women, white women, Latino women, Asian women, no shout out. Same thing, if I see a woman disrespect a black man, no shout out. So those are the new ground rules. You'll get shout outs, just have some class and respect for, for one another. Have respect for me, I'll have respect for you back in return. You know, this is in good intentions. So let me continue the shout outs. I want to give a shout out to 24 Hour Fitness for giving me the chance to walk into their gym facility and do cardio and weight training. Without 24-hour fitness, I would never be able to reach the next, next level of fitness. It's because of 24-hour fitness that I got bigger, stronger, faster, athletic. 24-hour fitness almost gave me back my six-pack. You know, <laughs> I'm serious. So I want to give a personal thank you to 24-hour fitness. 24-Hour Fitness was rocking with me. I was rocking with 24-Hour Fitness from the beginning and middle and end. I want to give a shout-out thank you to Planet Fitness. They're not a gym. They're Planet Fitness. They help start my development in fitness. They start me off to get big, strong, and fast and to test my limits. And then I went to 24-Hour Fitness. I took that same discipline and that same work ethic and it paid off like hard work and dedication it pays off so i have to say thank you the 24-hour fitness thank you to planet fitness i also have to say thank you to top shop top man because that is the first job that employed me for personal part-time employment when all the other jobs said no thank you keep it moving top shop top man said yes when they did not have to say yes they dealt with me when they did not have to. Even when I made three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes, I'm doing LeBron James. Nine, ten mistakes, they stuck with me no matter what. Usually after you make four or five stakes, it's bye-bye, see you later, but I actually made a total of possibly ten to eleven stakes. There might be more mistakes, but I'm going off of what I saw in the past two years. So thank you to Top Shop Top Man. Thank you to the managers, the assistant managers, the co-workers. 
past and present, male co-workers, female co-workers, young and old, black or white. Thank you to all the co-workers at Top Shop Top Man. Um, next person to say thank you to is the Santa Monica um, Food Court. That was my second personal part-time job in Santa Monica. I only worked there for like five months last year in 2019 because it was my first job of washing dishes. When I lost my security job, I went to Santa Monica. And Santa Monica embraced me as one of their own. I got into the restaurant business, and yes, I got my I got my ass kicked the first two or three months, and the chef did have to break his foot off in my ass, not once, but a total of five or six times, chef number one, chef number two, and chef number three um, had to break some foot offs in my ass to make me understand how the restaurant business works. You know, they had to remind me, this ain't security, this is the restaurant business. If you ain't shaping up, then bye-bye, see you later. So I have to say thank you to the co-workers that I work with in Santa Monica. They were nice to me, I was nice to them, they helped me out when they got the chance. And I'm saying thank you to them. So if, they, if I run into them in Santa Monica in the near future, they'll know I made a video called Thank You. Next people to thank is Disneyland, the happiest place on earth. Now, the reason why I'm saying thank you is because I currently work there. And they could have said no at any time, and they did not. So I have to say thank you to Disneyland. I have to say thank you to California Disney Adventure. So that's two times I said thank you to Disneyland. I also have to say thank you to Mickey Mouse because he made my badge. And Mickey Mouse works a long, <laughs> a long schedule, longer than mine's. And Mickey Mouse see like one million faces in one day. Not a hundred, not a thousand. One million faces in one day. And that's just in one day. By the end of the week, Mickey Mouse has seen like almost like five million faces in one day. So I have to say thank you to Mickey Mouse. So that's three times I said thank you to Disneyland. They gave me the ability to self-improve and become a far better version of myself. You know, they could have said no too. And they said yes. So there's a lot of people I have to say thank you to. I have to say thank you to Subway. Because whenever I go to Subway, Subway always make my Subway sandwich the way I like it to be made. When they could just mess it up and say, all right, you an asshole. So thank you to Subway. I want to say thank you to Caesar's Pizza. Because they are hardworking workers. And they do, they do, they do what they're asked at, at Caesar's Pizza. I also have to say thank you to the bus driver. I have to say thank you to the black women who ride the MTA bus. I have to say thank you to the African-American black men who ride the MTA bus and drive the bus. There have been times where I came short on the fare, could have gotten kicked off the bus for not having the exact change, and they let me slide maybe two or three times when they normally would not. So I have to say thank you to the black women and black women who drive the MTA Without them, I would not be able to get to Planet Fitness, 24-Hour Fitness, the nightclub, the bars, the restaurants, my job, if it weren't, if it weren't for, their, um, for their transportation. I have to say thank you to Uber, because when I wasn't taking the bus, I would take Uber. I would take Uber from my job and sometimes Uber to my job. So I have to say thank you to Uber, because they did not have to drop me off in front of the house when they did not want to. I have to say thank you to Uber, because these guys drive 15, 20, 30 miles to get you home in under 45 minutes, and the least you could say is thank you. You know, so I have to say thank you to a lot of people. There's a lot of people that I have to say thank you to. I have to say thank you to Mentral PCS, because when my cell phone broke not once, but broke three times in the past, they did not have to give me the best cell phone. They could have just gave me any any cell phone just because I have to say thank you to Mentral PCS because they gave me by far the best um, cell phone. I have to also thank, um, I also have to thank a lot of the guys that I played basketball with at the park. A lot of the guys who had to show me how to make perimeter shots, how to play defense, how to stick your man. I have to say thank you to the guys who helped me play basketball at the highest level. So I have to say thank you to them. I have to say thank you to the bodybuilders and the personal trainers who help get my body into the athletic shape that it is. There's a lot of people I have to say thank you to because there's a lot of people that did a lot of uh, nice things for me and they never get to hear the word thank you. 
and it'd be five months later, ten months later, it could be two years later, but I have to say thank you. I also have to say thank you to the Most High, because the Most High blessed me two days in a row. The Most High gave me $2 yesterday and then $50 today. Now, I spent some of the money, but it was necessary because I needed some stuff, you know, to, you know, fix up the house. But got to say thank you to the Most High. I also have to say thank you to the white girl that was riding her bicycle. She saw my YouTube video. I was leaving the Grove and she nodded her head and shook her head like I saw your YouTube video. So I have to say thank you to the white girl that was riding her bicycle. Um, I also have to say thank you to the people who subscribe to my YouTube channel. You guys and your women, you did not have to take no time and energy out of your daily schedule to subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch my YouTube videos. I always say it in all my YouTube videos, whether I have a good day, a bad day, or a combination of both, that if it weren't for you people, I would not have the motivation, the confidence to get in front of this camera and kick this information and knowledge to you. I also want to say thank you to the men and women at 7-Eleven. They work their ass off. Same thing with 7-Eleven. There'd be days where I'd be a dollar short or some or 50 cents short, and they'll let me slide two or three times when normally they would not. Um, so it's a long, long thank you video. It's a, it's a long thank you video. I mean, what do you want me to say? It's a long thank you video. Gotta say thank you to Food for Less. I also have to say thank you to, um, the Tree Dollar Store, Family Dollar Store. Um, I also have to say thank you to the barber for always cutting my hair and making me look nice to have women find me physically, sexually attractive. So I gotta say thank you to all the barbers. The barbers at the Fox Hills Mall. They don't call it Fox Hills no more. Now they call it Westfield Mall. So I gotta say thank you to the barber shop at the Westfield Mall. I gotta say thank you to the barber shops in the hood because they also cut my hair. I have to say thank you to everybody. Everyone has to get a thank you. A man, a woman, younger, old, black, or white. Everyone gets a thank you. I've had some security guards when I couldn't get no one at Walgreens to get my purchase, they helped me get my purchase. So thank you to the security guards at Walgreens everywhere. Even when I go to Target and I can't find something, gotta say thank you to the people at Target when I can't find what I'm looking for. I have to say thank you to Amazon. A lot of the stuff I bought from Amazon was because at the time of the accident, I could not go into the store because you have to practice social distancing. So I have to say thank you to Amazon. I also have to say thank you to um, a lot more people. I have to say thank you to people in the neighborhood. People who saw my YouTube videos and saw the positive energy. I have to say thank you. Because y'all saw my YouTube videos. And again, y'all did not have to waste your time and energy watching my YouTube videos. You could have just said, oh, forget him. I ain't going to watch him. Thank you for giving me a chance to show you. A different side of me. Yes, I make mistakes. Yes, I'm human. We all make mistakes. Sometimes we have good days. Sometimes we have bad days. Sometimes as a YouTube content creator, we do some stuff that's highly questionable over the top. And sometimes we do some stuff that make people scratch their head and go, what the hell's wrong with this guy? But when you have a good day, it's a good day. When you have a bad day, you have a bad day. I try my best to acknowledge everyone, no matter who it is, black or white, Latino, Asian, whoever it is. Sometimes I try to make the best videos. Sometimes the videos are average. Sometimes the videos perform very well. Sometimes the videos underperform. I have experienced all of that as a YouTuber. Sometimes you might see me in person and you might not like my video appreciation and you might have an issue with what I say. Now, I can't make everybody happy. Some people are going to take what I say and misconstrue it because they obviously just don't like me for whatever reason. Some have five reasons why they like me. Some have five reasons why they don't like me. Then you have one in the group in the middle. It's called the undecided category where they're just undecided, meaning they don't like you, but they don't like you, but they're undecided. That's understandable. Sometimes I'm undecided on certain YouTubers. Then the ones that see me in person and then power walk when they see me thank you too at least you acknowledge me even though you feel like that i say some stuff in the video that you don't like somewhere in the future we'll make that youtube video about why people react to a title like when you see me make a video called sex game 
You got to stop looking at the title of the video and stop panicking when you see the title. That's like when a film producer makes a movie called Halloween. You go to the movie theater, even though it's called Halloween, you want someone to scare you when you watch the movie Halloween. Mission Impossible. You want to know why the title of the video is called Mission Impossible to, to understand how the title of the movie got its name. So Sex Game is just the name of a video, and then there's the title of what the subject matter is about. People who judge a book by its cover don't seem to understand until it's too little too late because what happens when you judge someone and then 5, 10, 15 years later, somebody judge you very harshly and then you're not going to like it. I've seen men and women judge my YouTube videos and then it ain't until two years later they go back and watch the video again and then they have a better understanding than they did when they first watched the video. Some of these videos, it ain't going to be until like three or four years later that people can actually 100% understand. If a YouTuber does something to make you angry or upset, you never go in the comment section and you never express what it is that we say bad to anger or upset you. Now, if it's me making the video about sex game, um, sexiest Asian women in television and film, that is just to show respect. You understand? Every race has to get some type of respect and recognition. I would not be a YouTuber if I did not acknowledge the existence of everyone. There's people with learning disabilities that no one gives respect to. And guess what? Pretty soon I'll have to make that YouTube video to acknowledge their existence. Everyone works their ass off to get respect and credit. You go to work. You go to work to make the money. But you also go to work to get the respect. You go to a bank. When you cash a check, you cash a check. But you also do what? To get respect respect not disrespect and when you get respect you return it back so the thank you video is to say thank you to all the people that were nice to me thank you to the people who watch the videos and subscribe and thank you to the people that do not subscribe to the videos thank you to the people that say hi to me in person when they see my videos thank you to the people that gave me five minute ten minute conversations thank you to the people who see my videos and then they power run because they don't know if I'm uh, a guy that makes YouTube videos or one of those guys that you see on the news. And I'm going to make a YouTube video called What's the Difference Between Being the Creepy Person and the Guy Who's Misunderstood? Because there's a thin line between being misunderstood and being creepy. See, people who are misunderstood are very smart and very intelligent. It may not seem like it or feel like it to you or to me, but to someone else it is. Being creepy is just what it sounds like, being creepy. Some people like the videos. I don't take it personal if you like my videos. If you hate and despise the YouTube videos, I don't take it personal. I just try to come up with a logic reason to why you like the video, hate the video, and then just move on to the next video. But when you guys see me in person and you react, that's not good because what happens when someone does that behavior back to you, it's not going to feel very good at all. All YouTube content creators have a period where they get the audience's attention, they make the videos, people love them. And it's just like what they said in Spider-Man when the Green Goblin gave Spider-Man that motivational speech if anything that people like more than a hero is seeing a hero fail and trying even harder to get what? Respect and forgiveness from the people. And in the movie, the Green Goblin made Spider-Man into a villain because he wanted to see Spider-Man see what it feels like to go from being a hero to being a villain. You see it again with Spider-Man Home, Far Away From Home. They do that same interpretation again where Mysterio makes what? Spider-Man go from being a hero to being a villain so he can see what it feels like when you go from being most liked to being most hated. When you go from being most liked to being most hated is because you say something that's either politically correct or you say something that's incorrect, sometimes both. I'm not perfect. I'm a human being. And I make mistakes just like you do. There are days where I forget to pay my cell phone bill. There are days where I forget to leave work. There are days where I forget to go to work on time. There are days where I forget uh, I was supposed to take the trash out. I make mistakes. I'm human. I make mistakes. I'm allowed to make mistakes. 
order to be a better human being, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to, um, you know, like I said, you're going to fuck up. Because no one's perfect. No matter how hard I try to come on camera and try to entertain the hell out of you, I'm going to make two, three, four, five, six, seven mistakes in five months. So the first five months, I'm great, I'm fantastic. And then the second five months, I might make some mistakes. I might piss some people off. But you make YouTube videos and you walk in our tennis shoes, you're going to experience what we feel on a consistent daily basis. Making YouTube videos, we never said it was easy. That's why I'm going to make part two on Sunday about what happens when you leave film school and you go into the real world of filmmaking, whether it's television, film, and YouTube. And I'm going to explain what is the clear difference between the three, how each one gain you a level of respect, and then also how you lose that respect. There's a such thing of you get respect, you lose respect, and then you get the respect back. When I was in the martial arts, they always told me, there is how you get respect, and then when you get the respect, what do you do once you get the respect? So all I'm trying to do is give every race of man and woman respect, young or old. It's not intended for you to react off the title when you say sex game, oh my guy, always talking about his sex. The past three months, what have we been talking about? Television and film in 20 different categories. You haven't even seen me drop a video that regards the sex yet. Back in the beginning of the accident, yes. And then we changed our content up, and we ain't changed it back. I ain't changed my content back yet. It's, it's still television and film. I got like five or six more categories. I haven't talked about westerns. I haven't even talked about um, the best drama movies and television shows who should get an oscar who should not i haven't even i haven't even got to the full extent of the series we're like 15 20 episodes into the series maybe 25 episodes into the series it's a long series you know i haven't even talked about my favorite disney movies i haven't even got there yet so when you see the title of the video and it's called sex game you got to learn how to stop reacting off the title of the video. And like the old saying goes, stop judging a book by its cover. Anytime somebody makes a movie or a television show, the name makes you want to come to the movies. Anytime you see the name Star Wars, you want to know why it's called Star Wars. When you see a movie called Star Trek, you want to know why they call it Star Trek. When I make the video called Sex Game, I'm not always talking about sex so if you're judging a book by its cover and you're trying to insinuate that all i do is talk about sex then something's wrong with you because when other people tell you he's talking about television and film and filmmaking give the video an actual chance watch five or ten minutes of the video before you decide to like the video hate the video or become undecided you have a choice to watch the videos you have a choice not to watch the videos. But when you just judge a book right off the cover, that's rude and disrespectful. That's like telling a doctor, I don't think you're a very good doctor. You would not know if that doctor's good because you don't give him the chance or her the chance to prove to you that he's a good, do that man or woman is a good doctor or not. If you go to a lawyer and you want a lawyer to fight your case in court, you don't know if that man or woman that's a lawyer or an attorney is a good lawyer or a bad lawyer because you don't give them a chance. You just see someone make a video and you panic and react off of it without actually giving true intelligence thought to sit down and actually watch the video. Some of these videos will blow you the hell away if you actually give them, you give me a chance to show you. Instead of, oh, go ahead, he, 